All right, what's up my mathletes? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to plot a triangle in the coordinate grid when you are given a point. So we have gotta review some things first as we get rolling with that. Now, we're gonna go through four examples together. And you'll see they are, you've got four examples, each one has its own point. And here's what we need to review though first. So again, get your, your paper out and write these things down. I'm sure you already remember them and know them, but we're gonna just kind of review this part here just slightly. Now, your x, y coordinates, because when we're given this coordinate, you know, we've got an x and a y for each one of our points that we'll use in our example. So the x coordinate, of course, uh, we know the sine of the x coordinate in quadrant one is always gonna be positive. And the sine of the x coordinate, or the y coordinate in positive one is also positive. So your x and y are both positive in quadrant one. In quadrant two, your x is negative and your y is positive. So again, this is just a quick review, and then both your x and y are negative in quadrant number three. And in quadrant number four, your x is gonna be positive and your y is gonna be negative. So that's just one of the things that we need to be able to do is plot the point in the correct quadrant. Now, sometimes you're asked to describe what quadrant a point's in, and when you do that, you have to be super careful. And I've seen this happen all the times, and I know I take off on my students when they do this. If they just put a one here, I'm like, no, that's not the way you notate quadrant number one. You have to, must, must, must use Roman numerals. So I, capital I, goes there in quadrant number one. Quadrant number two is over here, and that's II. So two capital I's together, and then I, I, I. So one, two, three uh, I's together for quadrant number three. And then quadrant number four is IV. You know, so that is quadrant number four. So when you note those quadrants, when you're describing those quadrants, be sure to use Roman numerals. Cause that's correct mathematical notation, man. And you guys are mathletes. So walk like a mathematician, talk like a mathematician, and draw like a mathematician. So now we're gonna go through our four examples together. Now here, example number one, we have the point eight three. You guys at this level, you know that's in quadrant number one. So you don't have to, but you could put a dot to kind of represent that. Unless you're given a particular scale or a graph to work with, just go ahead and draw the triangle. You know, we'll just make a sketch. And that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna draw our triangle and it's gonna look like that. So the very first thing we're gonna do is add our little right angle on the x-axis. And that always goes on the leg on the two legs. The two legs are on the x-axis. That is what is going to get where the right angle goes. Theta uh, is going to be some generic angle, and we're going to use the Greek letter theta to represent that angle. Sometimes you'll be given a different letter, and it's probably going to be Greek, man. It might be like beta, uh, and sometimes it might be this symbol here. So those are just different ways to represent the angle. It's all good. All right, so don't get stressed about that, but do label the angle, and that angle is always gonna be the angle that is closest, is always gonna be located closest to the origin. So when you draw that, that angle goes there. The third thing we're gonna do after we draw our triangle, after we put in theta and our right angle, is we're gonna put an eight right here, because that's our x coordinate, because that goes along the x-axis, and then the leg that is uh, going up or going down, that leg has a length of three, the y value is three, so we would just denote that. So you're gonna put your X and Y coordinates around the legs. All right, the hypotenuse for right now, we're gonna leave blank, we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, now let's take a look at example two. So let me zoom in over here on example number two so we can take a look at that. Now check it out, negative eight, three. So we know that would be over here in quadrant number two. So we would draw a triangle in quadrant number two, right angle, theta, and then we would put our X, Y coordinates. So negative eight would go here and the three would go there. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. So you draw the triangle, put in your right angle symbol and your theta symbol, and then you label your xy coordinates by the lengths of those legs. The hypotenuse for now, we just leave blank, all right? There'll be a time when you don't need a blank. Now, in example three and four, so you probably could do these on your own, so go ahead and hit pause on the video and draw those triangles. When you come back, you'll have the answers. All right, how'd you guys do on these two? So let's take a look at example number three first, right in here. So on example three, you should have your triangle drawn in quadrant number four, which of course is IV quadrant number four. Uh, so in quadrant number four, we would have that. And be sure, again, you've got your XY coordinates labeled around it, as well as your theta and right angle symbol in that. So that's that for example number three. And then example number four is right here. So negative eight, negative three uh, are listed around there on your legs. The hypotenuse is blank. But if this were a quiz, 
there's one mistake that Muskie made here, and I would ding you for this mistake because you didn't drop, you didn't put this in there. Can you see what it is? Hmm, it's right there. Oh, you don't know where there is? I'll draw it in for you now. Boom, theta goes right there. Angle closest to the origin in the triangle goes right there. So, and then make sure that you do that because if you were to draw this triangle, so I'm gonna do a little bit different version of it here. So here's another version of this that I, I see sometimes. People just do that. I'm like, no, that's, you don't get any points. No points for you. You must draw it correctly. And other times, I've, I've seen this happen and people will do this. Uh, and they'll put negative eight here and negative three right there and draw the triangle like this. And I'm like, no, that's not good either. It is not good to draw the triangle this way. So don't do that. Uh, draw it correctly. And the correct way to draw that, of course, is like so, right angle and theta, and then your x and y coordinates labeled around it accordingly. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. Make it a great day, and I will catch up with you later. Peace out.